32 round. We have escaped top 64. I'm this alive. This is top 32. Oh, Rich Bound on stream with Olimar. Yeah. Rules just top 32. One player will walk away from the tournament with only top 32 in placing, and one will have a shot at top 16. Oh, I'll put notes on that later. But yeah, we're gonna be seeing quite a bit of uh, of spacing game coming out here from Rich Bound here, uh, especially with the amount of Pikmin he could just throw out at once. Uh, especially with the up smash into up smash, forward smash into forward smash. Uh, Almar does have that. Uh, people have been complaining, but they've been working around it more and more throughout the months. And it's been working out. So what we're going to be seeing S2H try to do here is try to focus on these Pikmin, but try to also make it so that Almar doesn't have Pikmin. So he's going to be trying to whack these Pikmin away and uh, not do anything that laggy as often. Yeah. But yeah, his general game plan is try to make sure that Olimar has as little Pikmin as possible and to continue pressuring Olimar into the air because he can't pick Pikmin in the air. Yeah. Especially looking to make the run around here, trying to find ways to get into Olimar. He's looking for kind of a little bit of a, st a poke there just to get anything that back here. Not going to steal the stock, but gives S2H opportunity here to go a little bit lower and try to force out Olimar. No, S2H holding two uh, too hard on the Dimensio Cape, just goes back to the ledge but gets a slash and loses yeah. stock for it, but he he just makes it back up. But he has to climb another stock that he he should have been even with. Yeah. I do like how s is looking to take up the disguise, come back down, get a poke, and look for something further from there. But that situation, though, once he's on the ground, though, giving Olimar the opportunity to start attaching his Pikmin and doing some percent. Yeah, and Rich Brown here just looking pretty, pretty, uh, really pretty uh, with the yellow, purple, and blue lineups. Uh, pretty good, actually. You got an electric hit, you got a good throw, and then you got some heavy damage coming out. And we got a white Pikmin out here. Just, it does extra damage than uh, the other Pikmin if it latches onto you. But you got double purple. Oh, and and that up smash. Yeah, that, that's why uh, double purple is one of the best things he can have. Yeah. Because of the shield damage and the damage you could just dish out with double purple. Yeah. Double purple picking, of course, and you always want to have an other Pikmin yeah. as well. Triple purple is okay, but double purple is looking for the uh, more optimization that people want. Triple purple is if you want to be BM. Yeah. Like if, if you just want to style on somebody, yeah. you want to do something stylish. Like you throw a side B and then you get them on the tech chase, you get the, the up smash with another purple. You know, general right. general stuff. Well, game two coming out here for S, which is the best of five here. He has two more games to possibly make uh, an opportunity here to continue on to possibly have a chance in top 16. But I like how S, which continues the trend here, looking to take it to the skies. If he's on the ground, he knows he gives Olimar opportunity to attach Pikmin to him. All right, going to go with an air just to get the red Pikmin off of him. Down tilt gets him back to the ledge, but Rich Brown's holding center stage once more. I like what he's doing. He's holding center stage, plucking Pikmin, and once they go away, he plucks another one and throws them out again. Very nice right. tech. Good pressure coming out from S2H. Oh my god, goodbye purple Pikmin. Hashtag looking for the possible shuttle loop there, but Rich able to get him off of him. Nice to wage with the lead here. Alright, just forward smashes the white Pikmin off him and Nair's just hit both the red Pikmin and Olimar. One of the good things that, uh, that Meta Knight has is the all-encasing Nitra Air so he can get the Pikmin off of him wherever they are. And he can shark wherever Rich Brown wants to go, but he's not going to be able to land the Mock Tornado. Yellow Pikmin going to push him off. No. No yellow Pikmin going to punish that shield. S2H going a little bit too hard on that back air. Falls into the blast zone. Yeah, just trying to get the stop away from Rich. Trying to risk it for the biscuit there, but got no reward. Another back air opportunity. Going to take it 3% only to S2H's name. All right, S2H kind of picking and choosing another opportunity here. I like the fact that he's still continuing the trick. He knows the game plan he needs to have against Rich to make the possible victory in hand. All right, Rich Bam throwing out a yellow Pikmin forward smash. Gonna get some extra hit stuns from the electric property there. 
And very nice down smash to cover both sides if S2H decided to uh, to roll away. Yeah. S2H trying to shark uh, Rich Brown aggressive. Uh, his aggressive options with a down air there. But Rich Brown staying more grounded than normal now. Just using uh, his low profiling nature just to get around S2H's hitboxes. Nice. Oh Mines out the forward smash. S2H staying much closer this game than he was in last game. He wants to keep it close against Rich Brown. He doesn't want to go down without a fight. Yeah, he wants to make sure that he's always he's always in Almar's space so that he doesn't set up. And but it's been working pretty well, getting yeah. it even. And not only that, it's the way he's playing, right? Take it to the skies and the ground. When, when Olimar makes the ground game, I take to the skies, I come back to the stage, get it, get a few pokes here, and then try to take a mile off of it. But Olimar now back on the stage, definitely showing up what he does when, when Meta Knight's on the stage. Yeah, and again, S2H going a little bit too antsy with those forward smashes there. It did cost him stage control. If S-Switch can start, uh, yeah, there we go. Start uh, getting away with punishing uh, Rich Brown's uh, aggressive options on the shield that he has been trying to do the whole set, he can start getting this stock. Because uh, that last time he uh, punished that. Is that forward air? Yeah. And that'll take it right there from the ledge. S-Switch so close to making a possible comeback against here Rich Brown. Yeah, he was reaching a little bit much there. And Rich Brown was able to get that purple pick in the back air. Yeah. That was very good awareness right there. He was doing an excellent job too. He he has his game plan in check here. He knows what he needs to do against Olimar, but Rich always just a little bit of a step ahead. He knows, you know what, I got him on the ledge. If he's gonna run away from me and put himself in the corner, I'm gonna be there to find him. Yeah, and S2H is gonna reset his controller for a second there. Goes back to the Galactonite. And uh, what stage did they pick? I actually kind of miss it. It's going to go back to the tried and true here. This is going to be town and city. All right, Rich Brown uh, opting to throw off uh, Red Pikmin just in favor of the White Pikmin now. Does extra damage if it's lashed onto the opponent. All right, and again, SOH playing the aerial game. Comes back down. Try to see if he doesn't want anything for the hunt here. Holding onto these Pikmin right now. Rich Brown throwing out the blue, trying to switch into the purple one. Throws out yellow, now he has purple in tow and loses it off the side. Very nice da uh, jab lock from S2H here and it's continuing to take him off the sides. I think Tipper of forward air is gonna connect, but he whistle armors right through that up air. Rich Brown still trying to shark out any aggressive options from S2H with the yellow Pikmin up airs. Nice down tilt to cover S2H's landing. Another yellow Pikmin just to measure. Nice, sweeps back down there for a down air. I like it. I never understood how Olimar's up B really works. Like, do you have to mash it? Or um, do you have to it's hold weight it? dependent. So, if you, you need to throw away your Pikmin, that's what the thing about Olimar's up B. That's going to be up smash. But it's to make with great DI. I mean, like, when the when the Olimar's are like moving up and down, is that them like releasing the B button or something? I never really understood. And they're on the edge here. Yeah, but as you can see, one of those things about Olimar's recovery, right, he's forced to toss out the Pikmin because they do have him have weight. So, of course, Rich has to reset those Pikmin when he comes back on the stage. It's kind of the price to pay for the recovery here. s 2 with the first lead, but Rich Brown with the equalizer here. Yeah, wake up, Purple Pikmin. Just getting that stock. See how he's going for the air, right? He's not landing. He's picking and choosing where to land. He wants Rich to start making the commitment here so s can find an opportunity to get a poke here. Goes for a dash attack. Not able to find much. Crosses up the shield. I so nice forward to force forward, Rich yeah. out here in the corner. All right, down tilt into forward air. Very uh, safe percentage for Rich Brown here. Goes out a fire uh, F smash and down throw. No lead into down air there. Get up attack, and Rich looking like he wasn't ready for that one. Very nice. Right, oh, well. and you have to remember, if an Olimar tries to grab you with, with uh, more Pikmin, they have more lag on the grab. So try to bait out a grab with, with Olimar, especially when he has a lot of Pikmin. So that way you have a lot of lag to work with to punish him. But Rich Brown not gonna give it to S2H. He's taking that stock very hefty with purple Pikmin. Gonna go with a uh, blue back air. And now it's latched onto S2H. Goodbye, White Pikmin. 
Oh, oh wow, yes, it's tipping towards him. Nice Lynch going a little low for the hunt here. Able to get him with that down air. Another opportunity for Rich Running. He's holding on to one pick and he couldn't find him there at the bottom of the stage. Rich having a second chance of life here. Gets the drag down back here into down smash. S Twitch looking to make plays here just to make sure he can get the comeback here. Goes to the shuttle loop there. Only hitting the pick and not Olimar. Lynch throwing out yet another set of red and purples. And that forward smash is going to give him stage control once more. S Twitch is trying his hardest to get this stock and tries to read it, but he does get the uh, down smash at the very end. Rich Brown just breathing out, allowing himself to relax a little bit in the situation. All right, S2H with the drag down fair. Still striking him as the platform goes away. Nice, I like how he kind of waits on the Pikmin to attach, gets the nair to get him off of him. S2H has high percent, but of course, percents don't matter when you're winning neutral here. And S2H finds an opportunity here to get a little bit of a good ladder here. Carries Rich to the side. That's the no. shuttle loop, but he's not going to get the full confirm, and he falls down. That's unfortunate, too, because if this was old Town & City, that would have done it. Yeah. But because Town & City is super big now. Oh, I think it's... it's the ceiling. Ceiling. So the new Town